Welcome back. You're really going to want to come to your screens for this one. We are so honored to be joined with Katherine Mueller. She's the creator and director of Not Your Average Joe. And Jay Schaefer, he's owner of Forever Forward Productions. Jay also was the former director of Studio 814 for WTAJ. Jay, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Happy to be here. Catherine, back. we're very excited about this project. Tell people that might not know about Joe Cervello why you wanted to do this project. Well, I've known Joe since the mid-80s. Such a great guy. He's so community-oriented an amazing artist. Um, he's inspired so many people and he has helped so many people throughout our community. Um, I can't say enough good things about him and in our documentary you'll hear a lot more of good things about him. His work is simply amazing. I, I was learning so much about him from everything you guys were sharing. How old is Joe now? He'll be turning 92 this year. That's so, I mean, it's, it makes sense that you want to commemorate and honor and be able to put him into film, which is Absolutely. really special. So tell us how you got connected with Jay. So uh, back in twen not, yeah, 2020, I had written a, a live show based on the suffrage movement, and uh, it was called Grit and Grace. And so people had said to me, this is good information, it should be you know, we should be able to take this to high schools. And I thought, well, maybe we should film it. And I asked Jody Gill if he could recommend a filmmaker, and he recommended this guy. And um, <laughs> that's how we got to know each other. So whenever I decided to do something based on Joe's life, I, of course, went to Jay and asked him if he'd be interested. Yeah, Jay, tell us what it's been like working on this project. I think it's been incredibly interesting and just mind-blowing to learn all of this information about Joe. I knew the name and I knew vaguely that he was an artist, but I knew nothing about him when I came to really figure out who he was and what his life was like. And I think the most fascinating aspect is the fact that this 91-year-old man, turning 92, still does artwork every single day in his home, despite his eyesight slowly starting to go away as well. So it's just... What a great guy, and so many stories to share, and so many other people had stories to share as well. So, just sitting down with him, did you get to meet Joe? Yes. What was it like? Uh, I, well, <laughs> walking into an interview with a, with a man over the age of 90 isn't something, you know, you want to kind of treat it delicately, just, you know, make sure they're comfortable and everything like that. But I felt like I was didn't have to try hard with at all with Joe. He was very, very compliant, easy to work with, and he had he was, he was ready to share his story. Yeah, we're seeing some photos there on the screen. Catherine, Joe seems just like such a special person. Where did you come up with the title, Not Your Average Joe? Well, because he's so unique, because he has such a varied career, a lot of people think he was only an amazing artist, but he was a director, he was an actor, he's traveled, he was part of a, a company out of Buffalo that was a, a troupe. Uh, I just... You know, he's unique and not average, and that's how it came. <laughs> Tell us all about, I love the title because it's Joe Cervello, Cervello Bration, because okay. viewers will be able to come out and, and see the viewing of the documentary. Tell us about that. So um, we knew we wanted to debut the film, and I thought, well, if people are going to be coming into town to do this, you know, we, Joe has a lot of work downtown also, in addition to other artists, and I thought it would be great to do an art walk, uh, see Joe's work, his sculpture, and also his murals, but some of the other artists. And one of the things that we noted uh, when we spoke with Joe was that the murals in the post office that have been there since 1938 inspired him as he grew into the artist that he is. Yes, let's take a look at some of Joe's work. He is just so talented. Yes, he, and he, he does such a varied amount of art. He does acrylics, uh, watercolor, he does wood sculptures. Uh, it's just, you know, you, again, you cannot say enough. We tried to capture a lot of his art in our documentary, but it's, it's, there's way more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> way more. So we are going to take a sneak peek of a, a little bit of a trailer for Not Your Average Joe. Let's take a look.
gentleness. That is his true power. I knew this guy somehow had to be a part of my life. He has just been such an inspiration to so many people. Joe, in terms of versatility, I think that's one of the things that strikes me about, about him and about his work and his adaptability to doing so many various types of work. I tried to explore everything that I could possibly find. I enjoyed trying, at least trying. I feel like every everybody has to come see it. Well, we're hoping we have a great turnout. When we do our debut, uh, it's free, open to the public at Arts Altoona, 8, 8 o'clock on April 12th, uh, but also the Art Walk the next day. And we've also partnered with the Railroaders Museum, and there's going to be an exhibit of Joe's Altoona Railroad work uh, on the 14th, which is the Sunday of that weekend, um, and also some more showings of the film. But uh, I was excited about the weekend, and I thought we, more people need to know. And I contacted the mayor's office. Yes, <laughs> tell us yes. about your special proclamation. Yes, we have a proclamation from Mayor Matt Pacifico. Um, I don't think you want me to read the whole thing. I can turn <laughs> it around. But it really says what a wonderful man we are. Uh, it says, now, therefore, I, Matt Pacifico, mayor of the city of Altoona, Pennsylvania, declare April 12th through April 14th as Joe Cervello weekend in the city of Altoona with pride and thanks for the enrichment of our city through his art. That is really special. That's wonderful. Uh, what's the best way for people to find out more information? Well, the, there will be info on Facebook. Uh, we yep. have circulated our flyer. Yep. Uh, the, you can find it on Facebook at Not Your Average Joe Documentary Film. Um, it's also on Instagram at Not Your Average Joe underscore film. Um, but uh, we're posting regularly, keeping people up to date. But April 12th through the 14th, we're hoping everybody can come out. It will be a true Cervello bracer. Thank you so much, Catherine. Great seeing you. Thank you for having us. We enjoyed it. Always good to see Jay Always Schaefer a pleasure. in the house. <laughs> we will have those details over on our Facebook page as well if you missed it. Thank you.